Peggy 18. As an artist, I've been working in the film industry for a couple of years and at this time the video games were not very well known. So now when I see that video games would inspire live action, I'm very excited. The good challenge about shooting a film like this is that the product that we're advertising is, is really a historical kind of story. We didn't want to make a pirate film that felt, you know, contrived or too romantic. This is quite an unusual project insofar as that we're physically recreating on sound stages sections through a Spanish gunboat. So we did a lot of research into sort of ships of the time. As you can see, it's all looking quite authentic to the period. So this is a game that's set in a time where this is really kind of hardcore war time environment and it was important that the sets depicted that era. We are standing on the top of the battleship. Uh, that's, it's amazing because it's like a kid's dream coming true. The boat is real size. I mean, it's like standing there in the middle of the game. <laughs> It sounds very easy, but uh, it's been quite a number to build. We've been building on the stages for now for about three weeks. The uh, construction crew have been hard at it. If we want to talk about numbers, let's start uh, off the beginning. In construction, we had like 50 to 60 people working uh, all the time. In shooting, we are like to 160 people on set. It's a big one, as we call it. The explosion, uh, which will happen very soon, is very powerful because uh, have to be powerful in order to break the wall. Explosion! As we progressed further, we realized that it's quite interesting if you move the camera within each deck, it reveals more of the structure of the ship. What is interesting with this job is that we are not in a totally you know, game world where everything is in control because it's generating per CGI. What we will do is to get as much as possible in camera, to have some real action. Stunts, yeah, lots of them. All of the cast in the film are pretty much stuntmen, about 70%. And those stunt guys need to be in exactly the right position at the right time so that they're not in any kind of, you know, more danger than they need to be. Um, it's my job to try and keep things safe, but also to make sure that we get something that looks great on film. So we did a 3D pre-vis of the entire move so that the camera almost kind of follows the action that happens on the boat. And that seemed to make sense that we would then cut from this stage and then the camera rises up to the next cannon deck and then finally to build the top deck as a composite. The first set with the pool is uh, 3,000 uh, cubical meters of water, which is very big. You know, one of the pillars of the art direction of uh, Assassin's Creed is uh, to play in the, the brightness. But at the same time, what we really like is to play with contrast. So how do you appreciate the light if you don't have the darkness? So this reflects more these kind of dark moments we have in the game, this kind of very dramatic moment we have when we are in the naval warfare in the night. And it was a brutal time, you know, these guys didn't take hostages, they were there to plunder ships, steal gold and kill their enemy. And I think the game Black Flag really wanted to capture that and we wanted the same essence in our TV commercial. The film resonates in the game in the sense that it's a metaphor to show the evolution of the main character. He evolves uh, from a selfish, reckless pirate uh, to a more like a master assassin who embraces uh, a greater cause. I feel very excited about that film because it's the most uh, ambitious uh, live action trailer Ubisoft has ever made, so I'm very impatient to see and very excited to see what it will look like on the screen.